Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the Native News Update. It's Friday, July 26th, and many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native News sources. One of about 70 religious masks auctioned in Paris earlier this year, despite protests from Hopi leaders, is now under tribal control. The mask, also known as a kachina, was presented to tribal members during a ceremony in Flagstaff, Arizona. The Hopi religion is so secretive and the kachina spirit figure roles so crucial that tribal officials oppose publication of photographs. Attorney Pierre Servan Schreiber obtained the mask at auction within hours of losing his bid in a French court to block the sale of objects deemed sacred by the tribe. Hopi cultural officials and their supporters urged the French government to intervene when the auction house announced the masks would be sold to the highest bidder. Sir Van Schreiber paid $7,845 for one of the masks and met with Hopi leaders and tribal members July 12th to deliver it. In all, the relics sold for more than $1.2 million. The Hopis may also receive another mask from the lot. The family of a late French singer plans to deliver the kachina it purchased at auction to tribal leaders in the coming months. A Winnebago tribe of Nebraska company has won a $23 million federal contract to provide support services to NASA. All Native will perform the work at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. and at all NASA Goddard Space Flight Center facilities across the U.S. The Office of Human Capital Management Professional Services contract starts September 1st. Support services will include recruitment projects, ongoing staffing and classification services, training, coaching, leadership development, organizational effectiveness, career development, labor re relations, and more. Incorporated in 2008, All Native provides network services, information technology solutions, expertise in complete voice and data solutions, training, and other services. 10% of the world's plants and animals live in the Amazon rainforest that covers Brazil and other parts of Latin America. It also holds a large number of indigenous tribes. One particular tribe, the Awa, have gained distinction as an endangered tribe due to the area being constantly invaded by loggers, cutting down trees illegally for timber, and to clear forest land for farming. Their numbers are down to under 400 people as a result of the logging actions, which have already taken 30% of their tribal range. Now, after sustained campaign by Survival International, the Brazilian government has stepped in. The Brazilian army has been mobilized and sent into the areas where the Awa tribe ranges with the purpose of breaking up illegal logging operations in the area. Tanks, armored personnel carriers, and helicopters have been sent into the area to target sawmills and other related operations and detain loggers working in the area. Since the start of the military operation at the end of June, the Brazilian army has managed to close at least eight sawmills with other equipment destroyed. The Army has yet to move into the Awa lands, where loggers are now considered active. But this is likely the first significant instance where the military proceeded to protect an indigenous tribe. The group Keep Michigan Wolves Protected is working to gain more than 225,000 signatures to make this year's wolf hunt the last. Members are looking to put forth a second referendum that will give Michigan voters the choice to keep or end the wolf hunts. They feel current wolf management practices are effective. The group has been working with wildlife scientists from Michigan Tech as well as Native American tribes in the UP to collect information and signatures. The last time they took up this issue, they managed to get 250,000 signatures. The Auction Indian Community Surface Water Treatment Plant, featuring GE's Z-Weed 500 Advanced Treatment Technology, was recently honored with the 2013 Water Project of the Year Award from the Arizona Water Association. The new plant, commissioned in 2012, has a capacity of 2.25 million gallons per day and provides drinking water to community members in Harrah's Auction Casino. It also provides sufficient capacity to meet the needs of existing commercial operations as well as future expansions. The community's surface water treatment plant takes advantage of its surface water allotment of Colorado 
river water supplied via the Maricopa Stanfield Canal system and the Central Arizona Project Canal, which gives it a secure source of water, allowing for the population to properly plan for future growth and expansion. GE Zeeweed 500 technology is an advanced filtration technology that separates particles, bacteria, and viruses from water or wastewater. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Nave News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.